Have you ever wondered about the whispered secrets surrounding daily masturbation and its impact on your body, specifically your prostate? In a world full of myths and old wives' tales, it's time to cut through the noise and uncover the scientific truth. What if I told you that the common beliefs about frequent ejaculation might be completely off the mark and that understanding the real effects could significantly influence your long-term prostate health? There's a crucial distinction between myth and reality here, and the insights I'm about to share could change how you think about a very natural part of male physiology. Don't go anywhere. The scientific truth might surprise you and empower you to make informed choices for your health. Prostate function. Let's begin by understanding the prostate itself and its fundamental role in male reproductive health. The prostate gland is a small, walnut-sized organ located just below the bladder in men, surrounding the urethra. Its primary function is to produce seminal fluid, which is a milky, nutrient-rich fluid that nourishes and transports sperm during ejaculation. This fluid makes up a significant portion of semen volume. The prostate also contains muscles that help propel semen out of the body during ejaculation, so it's intricately involved in the process of fertility and sexual function. Understanding its normal operation is key before we discuss any potential impacts of frequent activity. It's a vital organ, not just a passive structure. Proper prostate function is essential for reproductive health, but it also impacts urinary function as the urethra passes directly through it. Issues with the prostate can affect both. The health of your prostate is influenced by many factors, including age, genetics, diet, and lifestyle. It's a complex gland that undergoes changes throughout a man's life. Many men experience prostate issues as they age, such as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, an enlargement of the prostate, or less commonly, prostate cancer. These conditions are often a source of anxiety and confusion, which is why accurate information about prostate health, including factors like masturbation, is so important. So, when we talk about what happens with daily masturbation, we're really examining how a regular physiological process interacts with this essential gland. It's about understanding the body's natural rhythms and responses and how they might influence prostate well-being over time. Ejaculation frequency. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. How does the frequency of ejaculation, specifically daily masturbation, actually relate to prostate health? For a long time, there have been various theories, some positive, some negative, swirling around this topic. The good news is, from a urological perspective, there is no evidence to suggest that daily masturbation is inherently harmful to the prostate. In fact, some research points in the opposite direction. One of the most significant studies to investigate this was conducted by researchers at Harvard Medical School. They looked at the long-term patterns of ejaculation and prostate cancer risk. This large-scale study following thousands of men over many years found that men who ejaculated more frequently had a lower risk of developing prostate cancer, specifically men who reported ejaculating 21 or more times per month, which averages out to almost daily, had a statistically significant reduction in their risk of prostate cancer compared to those who ejaculated less frequently. The exact biological mechanism for this protective effect isn't fully understood, but several theories exist. One prominent theory suggests that frequent ejaculation helps flush out potential carcinogens or inflammatory substances from the prostate gland. Think of it like regularly cleaning out a pipe. If fluids sit stagnant, there's more opportunity for harmful compounds to accumulate. Ejaculation helps maintain a cleaner prostate environment. Another theory proposes that frequent ejaculation might reduce prostatic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is known to be a risk factor for various cancers, including prostate cancer. By regularly emptying the prostate ducts, it's thought that inflammatory buildup might be mitigated, thereby reducing long-term risk. It's important to note that while these findings are compelling, they represent an association, not necessarily a direct cause and effect. However, the consistent data across multiple studies provides strong reassurance. So, contrary to old myths that frequent ejaculation wears out the prostate or makes it more vulnerable, current scientific understanding actually suggests a potentially protective role. This should bring a lot of relief and clarity to men who might have worried about their masturbation habits. 
Your body is designed to handle this natural physiological process. Inflammation and clearing. Let's delve deeper into the concepts of inflammation and the flushing mechanism I just mentioned, because these are critical to understanding why frequent ejaculation might be beneficial for prostate health. Inflammation is a natural immune response, but chronic inflammation, especially in organs like the prostate, can be problematic. Persistent inflammation is a known risk factor for various diseases, including prostate enlargement, BPH, and even cancer. The prostate, like any gland, can accumulate secretions and cellular byproducts. If these are not regularly cleared, they can sit within the prostatic ducts and potentially contribute to an inflammatory environment. Ejaculation acts as a natural flushing mechanism. It helps to clear out old fluids, dead cells, and any potential irritants or crystalline structures that might otherwise accumulate in the prostate ducts and glands. This regular emptying prevents stagnation and helps maintain a healthier, less inflamed prostatic environment. Think of it like a plumbing system. Regular flow helps prevent blockages and buildup. Without regular ejaculation, there's a theoretical risk that these substances could linger longer, potentially promoting an environment conducive to inflammation or abnormal cell growth. While the prostate is designed to produce fluid continuously, regular emptying ensures that this production and removal cycle remains efficient and prevents undue accumulation. This constant turnover of prostatic fluid is believed to be a key factor in the reduced risk of prostate cancer observed in men with higher ejaculation frequency. It's a very elegant physiological process. Your body has a built-in mechanism for keeping the prostate healthy through its natural function. So the idea that frequent ejaculation is harmful is largely unfounded. In fact, the opposite seems to be true due to this crucial clearing and anti-inflammatory effect. No negative impact. Now, let's explicitly address the other side of the coin. Are there any documented negative impacts or harms to the prostate from daily masturbation or frequent ejaculation? This is where a lot of misconceptions exist. Based on current urological understanding and scientific evidence, daily masturbation does not cause prostate cancer. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, uh, BPH, prostatitis, or any other known prostate disease. There is no medical literature to support the claim that it leads to these conditions. This is a common area of concern for many men, fueled by anecdotal stories rather than hard data. Some men might experience temporary mild soreness or fatigue in the pelvic region if they engage in very intense or prolonged masturbation. But this is typically musculoskeletal and not an issue with the prostate itself. This discomfort is similar to overusing any other muscle group and resolves with rest. It is not indicative of prostate damage or disease. There's also no evidence that it wears out the prostate or depletes it of essential components. The prostate is a gland designed for continuous function and regeneration of its secretions. The body is incredibly efficient at replenishing seminal fluid components, so there's no concern about running out or exhausting the gland's capacity. From a purely physical standpoint, the prostate is built to handle regular ejaculatory activity. It's a normal, healthy part of male physiology. Any concerns about pain during or after ejaculation that are persistent or severe should, of course, be evaluated by a doctor, but this would likely indicate an underlying condition, not a problem caused by masturbation itself. The takeaway here is significant. Men can generally feel reassured that their masturbation habits, even if daily, are not causing harm to their prostate gland. This frees men from unnecessary worry and stigma. Focus on overall prostate health through a balanced diet, regular exercise, and routine checkups rather than fixating on ejaculation frequency as a source of harm. Overall health perspective. Finally, let's place the discussion of daily masturbation and prostate health within a broader context of overall male well-being. It's not just about the prostate, it's about understanding a healthy approach to sexual expression. From a holistic health perspective, masturbation can be a normal and healthy part of a man's life. It can be a source of pleasure, stress relief, and a way to understand one's own body and sexual responses. Psychologically, worrying excessively about the frequency of masturbation can cause an undue anxiety, which itself can be detrimental to overall health and sexual function. Reassurance on this topic is important for mental well-being. Physical activity, including sexual activity and masturbation, is generally associated with better health outcomes, including cardiovascular health and stress reduction. 
these benefits often indirectly support prostate health. The key is moderation and listening to your body, but not in the sense of limiting ejaculation for fear of harm. Rather, it's about ensuring that any sexual activity, including masturbation, is part of a healthy, balanced lifestyle. If masturbation becomes compulsive, interferes with daily life, or causes distress, that's a psychological concern that warrants attention, but it's not a direct physical harm to the prostate from the act itself. It's about the behavior's impact on your life, not a direct damage to an organ. This distinction is crucial. Ultimately, the current scientific evidence suggests that regular ejaculation, including daily masturbation, is not harmful to the prostate and may even offer a protective effect against prostate cancer. This should empower men to shed any guilt or anxiety they might have held regarding this natural aspect of their sexuality, and instead focus on maintaining a healthy lifestyle for comprehensive prostate well-being. It's truly empowering to replace old fears and misconceptions with clear, science-backed truths, especially when it comes to something as vital as your health. We've seen that the prostate, far from being harmed by a regular activity, may actually benefit from the natural process of frequent ejaculation. This isn't just about debunking myths. It's about giving you peace of mind and informed insight into your body's amazing design. Embrace this knowledge, let go of any lingering anxieties, and understand that in this aspect of your health, your body is likely on your side, working towards its own well-being.